Hey, what's up everybody? I'm in my hometown of Newmarket, Ontario. This is where it all began. You can see right there that white building. There used to be a, lo a Woolco back in the day, like 20 years ago. And then a Walmart came in and that's where I worked uh, when I was trying to put myself through school, pay for books and so forth. So I saved up there and this used to be a grocery store called Weston Produce. And Teresa and her husband Guy, you know, they've been in the natural health industry for, well, I don't even want to say, I want to say maybe 40 years. Is that possible? I don't know, 30, like, some odd years now they used to own a small little health food store in this plaza behind me here and then it grew 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 and then they end up buying um nature's emporium which you see right there they ended up sorry they own nature's emporium the entire time but actually they ended up uh moving to that location so it's literally an entire grocery store i believe this is the single largest gross uh, uh health food store in canada unbelievable it's my favorite store by far there's some great stores in Ontario and you know who you are because I mention it every time I come to your store for sure there's some great stores but um, this is by far the best the creme de la creme so if, if there's any health food store in Ontario or in Canada or in the world that wants to take example take example of this store the best staff amazing owners they treat everybody like family the best salad bar by far uh, all organic produce there you know just incredible so anyway I look forward to sharing with you some tips on this grocery store walkthrough it's gonna be quicker than what a real grocery store walkthrough would be but I'm gonna share with you some just key key tips that I always look for and that I try to instill in people when I physically do walk them through a grocery store so hope you enjoy hi guys so this is nature's emporium in Newmarket Ontario probably one of the greatest grocery stores in the country most of the items here are very good well thought out organic non GMO project verified what I really want to install still here, even in such a premium grocery store, but especially those grocery stores that are common everywhere, is the idea of perimeter shopping. You want to be shopping on the outside. It's the outside of the grocery store. I mean, inside the store, but on the outer edges there where you'll find the healthiest sections. I was just pointing to the fresh produce section, which I'll get to in a minute. But in the middle of stores, most stores, all stores really, are mostly just packaged goods, condiments, packaged items oxidized overly heated oils highly highly processed fractionated ingredients that are very very unhealthy stay away here in nature and support obviously they choose you know much healthier snacks their chocolates are of higher quality their snacks are well chosen but still these are snacks for a reason you want to be consuming them in moderation no matter where you're shopping the best and healthiest section of even nature's emporium is really the fresh produce section fresh is always best and then the freezer section too, you will find some some really cool items in the freezer section as well, which I want to point out. So I'm going to be taking you down there and hopefully providing you with a lot of value. This is where all practitioners, all doctors, if you're a doctor and you're practicing doctor as teacher, this is really what you should be stilling in all of your patients. Here's the freezer section. Everything in this freezer is pretty much organic. You want to be looking for organic items especially with dairy I think you know just look at the difference between organic dairy organic cream and non-organic cream just read the ingredients you'll see exactly what I'm talking about the, the conventional stuff have all sorts of additives mono and diglycerides the conventional cream is just milk and cream it's surprising I have another video on that on YouTube I'll try and tag that but you should look tempeh here that's fermented soy what a huge difference uh, compared to non-fermented soy. you want to be looking for tempeh maybe I'll film another video but here are the gems, you know, try and find organic ingredients if you can with cheeses and dairy. In the seafood section, you want to be paying close attention to sustainability distinctions. Nature's Emporium here are really fortunate because they have OceanWise. In Vancouver, they're leagues ahead. OceanWise is a Vancouver aquarium and they actually have the symbol in restaurants so people can look at their fish seafood items on a menu and learn about it, see where they came from, how they were caught. It's very important, um, especially in terms of like ocean pollutants and what you're really finding in seafood these days. So really high, uh, highly recommend it. In the meat section, uh, you want to try and find organic meat. I know it, you pay more for it, but you know even if you can't find organic meat, the most important thing is to find a store or a butcher shop where the the staff or the the butcher actually knows has a direct relationship with the farmer. You know you want to know what these animals are being fed, and you want to be you want to know the farming practices. I mean, if you go to Loblaw Superstore, they don't have a clue. They have no idea what these animals are being fed. They have no idea about the farming practices. Beef especially, you know, they advertise corn-fed beef. Beef do not eat corn, so it's very important. Here's the salad bar, 
fresh. You know, everything here in H and Prime is fresh, homemade. You want to find grocery stores like that. If you are, if you're not going to be making it at home yourself, then find salad bars that are organic, made with whole ingredients that don't add processed goods. Look at all this fresh stuff. This right here is the medicine cabinet. This is the most important medicine cabinet you'll ever see in your life. If there's one thing that I've learned from naturopathic medicine, that is it. Look at this broccoli. Stop worrying about the price on fresh produce and meat. Start worrying about the price on packaged processed goods. You know, buying uh, three bags of potato chips for $8, save that $8 and use it to buy organic, fresh broccoli. Look at this. Just phenomenal, phenomenal produce. Right here, sprouts. This is probably the most nutrient-dense food you'll find anywhere, sprouts. I have another video on sprouts that I used. In, it's in my sandwich uh, video, actually. These things are very high in enzymes, very nutrient-dense per pound it's so incredibly valuable spending six seven eight dollars on a box of that is nothing it's so dirt cheap kale look at this beautiful beautiful kale rich colors you know you have purple and green um this is organic the pricing is is outrageous i mean 350 for a bushel even if it was six dollars for a bushel grab it never look back you'll never regret it i promise nutrient dense full of minerals alkaline disease fighting phytonutrients no supplement on earth can replace this, truly. Uh, they're carrots. Look at the carrots. You know, they've left the green on there. You can see it. Whoops, here I'm pointing out some more of the kale. Uh, just grab as many of these as you can. Spend $10, $12 on this. It'll last you all week for the entire family. You can make a liter, liter and a half smoothie and split it between you, your spouse, uh, your kids. You won't regret it, I promise. Look at the carrots, the green leaves on the carrots. Never throw that away. Cut those off. Throw them in the blender with your smoothie. They have more vitamin K, by the way. And actually, they're more nutrient dense. Never mind just the vitamin K, which is unreal, but they're more nutrient dense than the carrot itself by far. Okay, so blend them, juice them. Here's Swiss chard. Look at this beautiful, colorful Swiss chard. So rich in minerals. You know, you talk minerals for hair, skin, and nails. You want a hair, skin, and nail supplement? Green, leafy vegetables. Ignore the other hair, skin, and nail supplements. They're all garbage anyway, most of them. You know, you, you'll have a few good ones and you can hit me up on ones that I like, but truly, nothing even comes close to this. You know, forget about biotin. Biotin's everywhere. You don't need a biotin supplement. Grab green leafy vegetables. You won't regret it, I promise you. Literally, if I could trade my entire naturopathic education for one piece of advice, it would be this. Stick with these greens. Cilantro, parsley, dill. Grab as many, don't just grab one, grab two, three, four. You know, spend $12 on this stuff for the week. Stop spending money on packaged goods, crackers, three, four, five dollars for a box of crackers. It's nonsense. What a waste, gigantic waste of money. Stop wasting your time on debating whether organic is healthy or not and start replacing packaged goods with green, leafy, alive food. This is alive food, it's nutrient dense. Trust me, you will not regret it. You will not regret it ever. Cilantro, so disease fighting, you know, great for detox. You want to talk detoxes? Forget detoxes in a box. Add cilantro and parsley to your juices. Look at these peppers. Carotenoid rich, right? Carotenoids are, are disease fighting compounds in colorful vegetables. The more color, the better, by the way. You want outrageous, colorful fruits and vegetables. And as you can see in Nature's Emporium, there is no shortage. So come here and spend your money on this. It's wise, wise use of money. Okay, a quick salad bar tip here. Here's the salad bar area. The best way to get maximum nutrition in a salad bar is to get these guys right here, these sprouts. They are the cheapest and by far most nutrient dense. It's unbelievable. It's the one value ratio uh, where you could spend less and get more sprouts. Get them. They weigh next to nothing, but yet they have more nutritional value than virtually anything else in the salad bar. So pile it up. Seriously, really good for you. Yeah. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, this is the best of the best. If you want the best, it's in your grocery store. The best medicinal cab medicine cabinet is in your grocery store, your kitchen. If you have any questions, hit me up on the comment section uh, or email me, robert at lifelongwell.ca. Twitter is at lifelongwell.ca. Instagram, Robert Horvitz. I'll answer any questions you have. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you want to learn about anything more in the grocery store, what a certain plant has, what a certain vegetable has, let me know. But essentially, this is it. Collard greens, Swiss chard, kale cilantro these green leafy foods don't ignore them they are the absolute best uh even at 5.99 a little bushel get two of them they're absolutely just the best all right guys cheers